All right, so you got a 1099Q from a distribution or withdrawal out of a 529 plan to pay for some education expenses, and we want to know how to get this into TurboTax. Let's do it. All right, so you're in TurboTax. You're going to click on this wage and income button over here, and you're going to land on this page. You're going to have to scroll all the way down, and there should be like some more other right here. Keep going all the way down, and you're going to hit this less common income. Scroll to the bottom of this and hit the miscellaneous income down at the bottom. Hit that. Well, mine says revisit, okay? Going to come here. Then we come all the way down, and you're going to see right here, right, 1099Q, that 529 plan. Click on that, and we're going to enter it in here. So tell us about the education plan. Were you the beneficiary? I'm going to say no. I got this. Well, we don't have a Cordell. We have an HSA. Uh, Coverdell, sorry. Did you receive the 1099Q for distributions? or a qualified tuition program. Yes, it was for a qualified, this is really common actually. So we're gonna hit that yes button and then continue down, I guess, behind where my face is here. Who's shown as the recipient on your 1099Q? I'm gonna say, I got the money. I am the recipient of this, but let's say it's my grandkid that actually is the quote beneficiary, okay? Tell us who the education expenses were paid with the distribution reported. So I'm going to say it's someone else, right? It's not me or my wife. It is someone else that's not on this return. Obviously, if it's for you or your kids, you could put them on here. But we're going to say someone else. Continue. All right, so who are the, uh, the student these expenses were paid for? I'm going to say these are for my grandkid, okay? Grand kid. Continue. And then we got to go to our 1099Q itself. So let's pull this thing up. I have one that's redacted here. Okay, and we got some information. A lot of the basic information is going to be up here, right? We're all like the banking information, yada, yada, yada. So you're going to want to put that in here, right? Like the federal ID number. You'll see that. That's like would be right here. Okay, so I'm just going to type in some numbers here. Payer's name. Again, that would be here as well. So you would find all that payer's information. It's all going to be on the top of this 1099. So I'm just going to put the bank. I'm going to put one, two, three, Maine, Newport, CA, get through some basic stuff here. And now where the rubber meets the road, you don't really have to put the account number. That's fine. Um, the gross distribution, right? There it is, 823. So that's what we'll put there, 823.25. That's what it says. And earnings on here, so box two is 515.8. Uh, 515.41 cents, there we go, uh, 515.41, and the basis in this, all right, so 307.84, 307.84. Now we'll see, is this, you just got to go through this box by box, right, box four, is this box checked? No. Box five, it says state, so we're just going to put that on there, state, right, box six, if this box is checked, the recipient is not the beneficiary, okay, recipient is not the beneficiary. There it is, and hit continue. Okay, this is like the sponsors this program. So we're in California here. That's where this thing was set up. We'll put the California code in there. Uh, this was not for death or disability. This was just to pay for my grandkids. Let's say my grandkid. I don't have any grandkids, but for my grandkids, uh, it's school, their uh, books. We'll say okay. Distribution transfer. No, this was not transferred. Was all a part of this rolled over to another program? No, we're going to say no. Refund of education expenses. Did you receive a refund from the higher education expenses such as? No, we didn't get a refund. And there it is, okay? We put that into the return. Now we're going to hit done. And now it's going to ask us how much do we pay for this thing? Or how much do we pay for the school with the money that we got out of 529? There we go. What levels of school did the school uh, did the student attend? We'll say he went to college. Principal interest payments on qualified loans. So did we use this to pay for a qualified loan? No, we're going to say we directly just paid for supplies itself. Oh, here we go. We paid for books. We'll say we paid, oh, geez, I don't know, 800 for books, and we bought a computer, right? Okay, continue. There we go. So essentially, the way this works is that 
so long that you paid more than this box two in education expenses, then you will not be taxed. Because the way this thing works is this is what they put into this, this account after tax money. It earned, right, with while investing in the stocks, 500 bucks. So they, you know, were able to pull out that $800, the, you know, the combination of these two figures here. So again, as long as you paid this much in education expenses, then there will be no taxable amount. This was helpful. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe for more of these type of videos. And last but not least, if you haven't already, click that link in the description below for TurboTax just to help me out, support the channel. It doesn't cost you any more money when you go to buy TurboTax, but I get a little chunk of the change. Thank you so much, guys.